Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix Hot 50 Pro Plus and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So, to get started, when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end and you just want to find your desired language from the list. For me, it already selected English, which is what I want to use anyway. And once you have your language selected, click on Next. Then select your country. Now this step is kind of uh, irrelevant as, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really change much. There, uh, but out of all of those, I'm gonna stick away from UK as they do have kind of um, intrusive um, laws for data. So yeah, anyway, next we have uh, insert SIM card. This step is optional, you don't need to do that. So we can just completely skip this. The reason it shows up here uh, is it's one of the ways you can connect to network. The other one would be through Wi-Fi. And if you choose to skip both of those, uh, you won't be able to sign into Google account throughout the setup process. Date and time might not be set automatically or correctly. And uh, you won't be able to get updates for the device. Now this all can be changed later on after you connect to network, after the setup. So you don't need to worry too much about it. Next we have user agreement and services. I can read all of these right here. And from there, check the box right here at the bottom and click on next. Next, we have Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can turn all of those off, but let's be honest, it's from Google. So it's not like the toggling of these options probably does much. There is a reason why Google is, for instance, in class action lawsuits left and right. And it's not because they are trustworthy. Moving on to the next page. We have unlocking method and here we have three different ways to unlock our device. We have fingerprint, face recognition and the pin pattern or password that is located under the password itself. Now, if you're planning to use any of the first two options, you will always be required to set up a pin pattern or password. The first two options are biometrics and biometrics aren't always 100% reliable. So in times where both of those fail you, fail to unlock the device, you'll be left with a, for instance, pattern. Now I am going to set one up really quickly. Next we have mobile cloner. Uh, this just allows you to clone, move over all the data from your old phone to this one. Uh, it's an application, you need to download it on your old, old phone and then connect these two phones together uh, to a process that will be listed to you while you're doing this and then just select what you want to move. Things like applications, photos, music, uh, messages, contacts and so on. You can select all of that. And once you're done, it will just appear here. Uh, the more data you will be transferring over, the longer it will take. So be mindful. And I do recommend using this through a cable if you have the option to. Uh, as most phone phones come with a dual USB-C cable, can kind of just connect both of these phones together and most applications should allow you to just do it that way instead of the mobile uh, like the hotspot that it will create between these two phones as cable will be faster so the less time you need to wait probably the better now i'm going to be selecting skip as i don't want to move over anything and this presents me with the navigation style for the phone I like gestures, so that's what I'm going to select, but I can also choose buttons if that is something that you prefer. And this finishes up the setup. So let's click on an arrow and wait for the home screen to show up. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.